Music therapy is defined as the clinical and evidence-based use of music interventions to accomplish individualized goals within a therapeutic relationship by a credentialed professional who has completed an approved music therapy program. So basically the use of music to correct ailments such as depression and anxiety. Now this may come as a shock to many of you, but music therapy actually had no professional profession until 1789 in which the article Music Physically Considered was written. Now obviously, music did not just pop up in 1789, it has been around since ancient times and even mentioned in 1500 BC in several Egyptian medical papyri. Too bad it took us so long to realize its medical benefits. One of the first uses of music as a sort of therapy was within the works of Jean-Marc Gaspard Hall, who worked with Victor of Avrion, a French feral child. He used music to help the boy develop auditory discrimination skills, and we can see this as one of the first uses of music as a form of special education. Though it's not explicitly stated in records, many 19th century schools had rhythm classes, which fall under the category of music. These classes were used as a stepping stone to speech development, helping students understand sounds and syllables before making the jump to language. Though we can look at history and find traces of music being used with special education, it wasn't written about often. However, we know it was implemented. For instance, at the first permanent school for the deaf in America, pictures show instruments in the same room as students. One of the first textual references to music being used in special education was in a description of a program at the Alexander Graham Bell School for Hearing and Deaf Children, founded in Washington, D.C. They talk about how students were to imitate accurate singing, and they talked about kindergarten games and songs being led by an adult with a piano. In the beginning of the 20th century, more writers came out with their ideas about the inclusion of music in special education, most notably Erica Montessori, the founder of the Montessori style of education, who includes as a part of the curriculum auditory discrimination. This led to the program of music therapy that we know today. Today's use of music therapy in special education. Music is used to complement a child's special education curriculum. Connections are made in the following areas singing and speech, rhythm and motor skills, lyric memorization and academic memorization, listening and increased focus. Once the disability is identified, musical therapy techniques can be decided and set in the child's Individualized Education Program, or IEP. Types of music therapy techniques used in special education. Rhythmic speech cueing, RSC, involves speaking rhythmically along with a drum or metronome. This type of therapy improves fluid time speech and controlled use of volume and tone. Another method is auditory motor mapping training. This method uses percussion instruments and singing to improve speech and verbal output. Singing helps children learn how to control air release and textual phrasing, allowing for better respiratory muscle development to help fluidity. A third technique is Bonnie method of guided imagery and music. This helps one explore their own mind and work on significant life issues. During the session, the client tells the therapist what they feel and think of while listening to the music. The patient then will describe their thoughts and feelings, and then they will discuss ways to cope. A lot of focus is put on the imagery created by the music that takes place in the patient's head. Benefits of music therapy. Studies conducted around music therapy have shown a large amount of benefits including positive mood changes, better behavior management, increased motor skills, improved peer relationships, increased socialization, and better communication and speech. Other than seeking outside professionals, music therapy is also used directly in special education classrooms. Games involving music and movement are often seen in classrooms. A common game involves asking the students to run in place either faster or slower based on the volume and tempo of the music. Another method involving music is used in basic learning of shapes. Students move around to music, and when the music stops, the teacher calls out a shape, and the students move to the shape placed on the floor of the classroom. Music has shown such improvement in those with special needs and is easily implemented in today's classrooms. It has been proven to relax and often be a common coping method for those with disabilities. With the ability to transport music anywhere, it can be used at school, therapy sessions, and even in one's own home a tool able to be transported and kept with the student at all times.